and then um, after you've ticked the check all button yours, you want to click somewhere to unselect everything. Then you go here to move checked and you can just delete checked files from hard disk. You don't have to fill up your recycle bin or anything and click OK. That'll delete all your files. Alright, then we click yes. Deletes all the duplicate files. And we're left with only the um, frames which actually are different to each other. Therefore, this is the whole movie. Okay, we can cross this. And now our folder with all the images has only 907 files as opposed to 7000 and whatever that I had back then. Files are um, not in order, so you've got 0000, 24, 030, 35, and no program will really recognize them as a sequence. So I use FileMonkey, and FileMonkey is the batch renamer, amongst other things. Okay. You go to your temporary directory with your bitmaps, right click, select target all files, and then go up to operations, rename files, and choose sequence file names. Okay, and then rename files option up here, start text, I called it R test, R for rename, T for test, um, tick add sequence. Make it again seven zeros and you start at one. And end text is .bmp, so that's your extension. And then simply click start and that will rename your files. Okay, that's done. You can close file monkey. And now all your files are in order. And now what you can do is you fire up your virtual dub and you drag and drop the first file into virtual dub and then it'll play as such. Okay. And but what you can actually do is when it's time to export it to a full, to your final movie, go choose the video option, choose the frame rate, make it 30, 30 frames per second. Uh, the compression is uncompressed, audio, no audio, and go to save as AVI, and I'll name it final final.avi and that will make me a 30 frame per second full motion video and then you can do whatever the hell you want to do with it after that okay I'm going to load up the scene in OK so you can see how it runs in real time I'm just going to hit Put a bit of fire here and uh, untick pause and then you can get a sense of what it runs like in real time and it took 10 minutes over 10 minutes of this to record a 30 second video okay and now you've got a good idea how it runs um, I suggest sub subscribing to my videos because the next tutorial series I'll be doing is regarding uh, making OK a lot more detailed than it is and manipulating all its various properties that are available. Okay, and that should be that. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments. Yep, that's it. And here's my video, the final product, playing at 30 frames per second. Alright, and then um, after you've ticked check all button yours, you want to click somewhere to unselect everything. Then you go here to move checked, and you can just delete checked files from hard disk, you don't have to...